Hello, hello. So, um, this is going to have a very short introduction, this poem, because I kind of just want to get into it. Um, but very quickly, this poem is just an exploration of the universal thing that we probably all will feel about that feeling we get when we know we like someone. And it's like, what is that? It's not indigestion. What is that? Oh, oh. And then it's even worse when you've been in a relationship and after time you then have those feelings for someone else and then you really don't know. It's like, oh, what is that? I took an antacid. It's really not indigestion. Oh, oh, oh no. And so that's basically what this poem is. So quite aptly, in a very light-hearted way, this poem is called What is that feeling? Do you remember those moments when you like someone? And if you don't do anything about it, that feeling will be gone. But then you don't actually know why you feel like you do. Yet in your mind, you rev yourself up to the biting point and then you want to carry it through. But then you don't and you question it and you wonder why. Why is this person painted in the canvas of my mind and I didn't even try? Is it real? You ask yourself constantly. And in doing this, all of the other wonders of the world pass you by, perpetually. It is a strange position when you have that feeling blossoming. Hopefulness becomes the plant feed and your feelings growth is blossoming. But then you deadhead that blossom and you revert back. Because feeling energised, feeling good, feeling confident, it's something that you lack. But all of this, let's remind ourselves, is imaginary. They may not like you, but they might do, possibly. This is the gap, the precipice that growing feelings that we have is created. But we have volition. It's stronger than seeing it as simply as fate. Because if you get those bubbles in the belly, or you want to extemporise poetry to them, like you might see on the telly, I see the irony of that, by the way, that I'm doing a poem on this, but we'll jump that and we'll carry on. Um, maybe, though, those grandiose gestures are a bit dramatic, to be fair. Because it is just really talking to them, smiling and showing that you care. And if it feels right, let the emotions flow like a river. That it's calming. Because if they do disregard you. Or they might feel connected to you. It's not that harming. So the time's come. They're there. In your eyes. It's time to try. I just wanted to say, to tell you, that I've really appreciated the time we've had together, getting to know one another. And I wanted to tell you that I And that's all you're going to get, because I'm not going to finish the sentence, because the rest of it will be up to you if you're in that position feeling those things. But you can do it. Just got to try if it feels right. I'll see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.